Hey guys, what's going on? It's your humble host Picasso here. Thanks for joining in. And today, guys, a very uh, quick video. In this video, we're going to take a look at something very cool. It's an Android launcher, of course, one that recently leaked, which is going to be coming to us already. If you already know what I'm talking about, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And guys, this is my Galaxy S6. And basically, let's go ahead and unlock the screen. Okay, and what we have here is the Pixel Launcher. So this is the alleged launcher that's going to be coming out on the new Pixel phones. Um, I think they're going to be replacing the actual Nexus phones as well. So this is the Pixel Launcher and I did a review on it, which is basically the Android Nougat Launcher, the 7.0. And um, yeah, so still not official. Okay, there's probably still going to be some tweaks, maybe a little bit of things added differently to it. But if uh, there will be a link down below in the description leading to the other video that we initially covered. So I'm not going to go over the whole thing again. Of course, there is no app drawer button. There's a little uh, triangle right here, a little arrow where you're able to swipe up. And the app drawer is in that fashion. Now, the reason why my icons and the background looks like this, uh, of course, it is the S6. So it does have the Samsung theme engine on it. So I'm rocking a theme right here. We have a static date, okay? And I might not add a time because there's already a time in the status bar, so I'm gonna leave that there. We have a dedicated Google button, and um, basically you're supposed to be able to swipe out and it would open up Google Now. It doesn't work unless you flash the zip file. Um, this isn't a rooted device, so I'm not able to flash any zip file like that. Touching on the Google right there, it does bring you into the Google search. Okay, and of course we have the uh, Android N or that folder style right there like that. And uh, yeah, very simple. And of course there's different icons on the docs. I just did it like that. And uh, yeah, so what we're gonna be doing is basically recreating the Pixel Launcher in some very easy, easy, easy steps. All right guys, let's dive right into it. Okay guys, so this is my grand prime, okay? So this can't get the Pixel Launcher. I tried installing the APK and the wallpaper picker and it would not run. It's installed on it right now, but it won't load up. So if you want to go ahead and imitate it, there's obviously plenty of different ways to do so. Okay, so right now the launcher that I'm on, it is Nova Launcher, of course, and I got a Note 7 wallpaper on it, so awesome wallpapers. These are very easy to find now with the Note 7 already being launched. So if you like these wallpapers, you can definitely find them just by Googling them and of course looking for a high resolution. Okay, first off, we are on Nova Launcher. Then what you want to do is simply, I'm using KLWP. You can obviously use any type of widget creator. Um, Super Widget Pro I recommend, UCCW. There's lots of different ways out there. And there might already be some pre-built widgets that you can just place on a blank home screen like this to also uh, replicate that. Now, it's obviously, it might not be the exact same thing as uh, the pixel launcher but we can get pretty darn close to it so first of all I'm using KLWP so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into KLWP right there we're gonna jump into it into the uh, widget editor or the wallpaper editor I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see more it's very simple it's not gonna take much time either first off we're gonna go ahead and hit the that plus button up there we're gonna go ahead and add text okay and we're gonna go in and we're going to edit the text very simple so we're gonna go ahead and erase that and very simply let's just look for a date and we want to find the month which is September so we're gonna go like that boom there's September and if let me see I just need to look at the layout again sorry about that and so it's the month and then the date and then okay so we got that so now let's go ahead and add the space and then we want to add the day, which is 13. Very simple, very basic, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that, and it's gonna be there. I wanna go ahead and raise up the size. Okay, not that much, not that much. It is pretty big, so maybe about 16, because we are gonna change the font as well. So I wasn't holding it correctly there, like that. Okay, and then we're going to position it as best as you want, really. Um, we are just trying to replicate it. It's not going to be perfect, like I said. Um, let's see. 
up that way. I might want it a little bit closer, so a pro somewhere like that, okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and hit save, and then we can always jump to the home screen and take a look at it, so that's what it looks like. I'm um, gonna put it up the side. Okay, very simple, not too hard or anything like that. Um, let's go ahead and actually change the, the font. Okay, let's go and change the font. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so there's a lot of different. Let's see. So I think this was an update to KLWP. I haven't been in it in a while. So just looking at this, where it gives you that example. Uh, grumpy wizards make toxic brew for evil queen and Jack. <laughs> that's that's cool. That's cool. I haven't been in here in a while, like I said. So again, you know, if you want to replicate it, you don't have to replicate it exact. You know what I mean? So just go ahead and have some fun with it. I'm gonna leave it like that. And then underneath we have Tuesday and the month or the year. Sorry. So let's go back. Okay. I want to make sure you guys can see properly here. There we go. All right. So we're gonna go back and what we're gonna do is add again and add another text, okay? So we're gonna add text and in this one, we are going to go in and change text. So let's uh, go up there and we're gonna change this one. And this one now, it is the uh, day of the week. Where I'm going too far. Day of the week, right there, but in all caps. Now, I don't remember how to make it all capital. So maybe we'll just find a font that can do that. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in comma, okay? And then space, and then let's find the year. I think I must have passed it. Let's go and find the, where's the year? Come on, I know it's here. It's not here? Okay, maybe it's not there. Uh, what I can do is simply, I can go like that, and then what I can do is just delete the rest. If you don't know the, the code for it, you can just go like that, simple as that, save that, bring the position down, and it is quite a bit smaller, okay? Put it to about there, and then what I'm gonna do is raise up the size a little bit. Uh, that's way too much, maybe 30? There you looks like it could be it, but also the font is different as well. It's a very uh, a thin, it's a very thin font. Very thin. Let's see. Um, I'm just gonna go with something a little bit close to it. Right there, just like that. Okay. We're gonna go with that. Save it. Go to the home screen. Take a look at it. Something like that. Okay, let's get a little focus there. So if you recall, that is something like what the Google Now Launcher looks like, or it's Google Now Launcher, the Pixel Launcher, okay? Even though the Google Now Launcher has been, uh, let's see, has it been renamed? There was something, I was watching something and they were saying that the name is gonna officially be changed to the Pixel Launcher or something like that. So uh, don't quote me on that, but I did hear something like that uh, through the grapevines, okay? So again, don't hold me to it if that's not uh, the case. Okay, so um, it does take a little bit, but again, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do. You don't have to do too much. So what we're gonna do, save it. Always, I always like to do that and make sure that everything is saved. And we're gonna go ahead and hit the plus. We're gonna hit the shape, okay? And what we wanna do is get a circle first of all. That's what I will start out with, is the circle. So let's go ahead and change the square into circle. Okay, let's make it a little bit bigger. About that, let's change the position and see where we're at. Let's bring it down. I want to make sure you guys can see what's going on here. Um, to about right there, I'd say. Something like that. Let, let, let me just take a quick, a quick gander. Gander. That's a word you don't hear often. That's right, gander. Um, let's bring it to about there. Okay. So about like that. And then now for the circle, you actually want it to be a little. A little rounder sorry if you guys went out of focus there I just fixed up the circle that's basically all I did right there so you didn't miss out on anything um, should it be a circle or circle slice oval rectangle arc hexagon yeah I think we're gonna go with circle again it's not meant to be perfect but we are going to try our best to make it look awesome 
Okay, so not too big. I'm gonna leave it like that with a circle. Now what I'm gonna do, save it. Okay, and uh, then I'm going to need another shape. So I might, no, okay. Let's add another shape. Okay, we're gonna add another shape. And this time we're gonna ha leave it as that uh, square. Okay, and what we need to do is uh, bring up the size. Bring up the size. We're going to have to change the color, of course. Let's try to get it matched up with the circle. Okay, one second. Let me see if it's matched up. Uh, the size needs to come up a little bit more as well. Let's bring up the size. I think that's it. And then let's go to position. Okay, let's move it over and then what we need to do is just line it up so it looks very similar to that square okay and then we need to actually put the square behind the circle so I'm just gonna hold on that put it there behind the circle then we're gonna grab the square and we're gonna change the color okay we'll change the color just to a little bit darker shade not too dark, just a little darker so you can see the difference. Let's go with that. Um, hmm. Hmm. Let me take a look. Let me take one more look again. So it's not really a circle, but uh, that's I think that's as good as we're going to get it. Uh, it's not really a circle on the pixel launcher. It's more of a it's more of a stretched circle, if you know what I mean but you can't really stretch the circle on this. So I'm actually going to move it over a little bit, position, move it back a bit. And I think the square needs to move back a bit now. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and move back the square. Position, let's move that back a bit, like that. I think we're good there, we can save that. Let's go back, let's save. So that's what we got so far, okay? And of course, we're gonna drop the Google si the Google icon in there and we're gonna deal with hotspots, all right? So that's where we're gonna go into next time. And it's looking pretty good, we're halfway there, all right? It's looking pretty good. I mean, if you compare it to the original thing, which I'm gonna actually do right now so you guys can see, if we compare it right now, down the stars you'll see that um, it's not too bad there so you see right there um, again you can fine-tune to get the actual uh, font and to line up everything properly but um, it's pretty simple to uh, 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 mimic so to speak okay so let's continue and um, yeah the app drawer is one thing that might be a little bit tricky so let's actually go and work on that right now Let's go ahead and dive in and try to get the app drawer going. So let's go back into KLWP. All right, and let's <coughs> and let's uh, see what we can do here. So right now, what we want to do is go ahead and I'm just going to hit save again. Okay, we're going to hit add, and what we're going to add is a font icon. I'm going to look at a font icon. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, that's not it. Let's go ahead and font icon. And we want position, and let's go ahead and bring it all the way to the bottom here. Oh, there we go. Let's bring it all the way down. Sorry for the shakiness. I need a sturdy dock right here. I have one back here, and I have two on the side over here, but I need one like right here. Um, yeah, sturdy. It doesn't have to be fast to the desk. The one in front of me right here is actually fastened to the desk, which is pretty cool. I love it. I did it there. You know DIY you know what I'm saying yeah DIY <laughs> I kind of lost my train of thought there for a second okay so we have that right there and basically it's supposed to be like a little triangle that you swipe up now um, actually I just thought of something the swipe up might work um, we're, we're gonna do what I initially thought first would be the only way for it to work um, okay I'm just rambling let's go ahead and jump into it all right so there what we want to do right now is go to icon it's in we're in the material icon and star we want to see if we can find that uh, sort of triangle shape um, if you do hear any noise in the background my kids just got home from school 
um, we actually I actually had to pause the video halfway and go and meet them by the uh, school bus stop so they are here okay so we actually found something boom right there if you look at that that is exactly what we're looking for okay that little triangle that's exactly what we're looking for we're gonna did I just move it? No, okay, it's just saved. Let's dive home. Okay, let's jump back in. Actually, you probably won't see it on this device because, yeah, it's pretty small, but let's see if you can actually see it up there. If you can get a little bit of focus. Focus. Focus, come on. Focus. There you go. So you can see that little triangle right there. That's actually after we hold on and slide up. Okay, so not bad. Um, it's a little... I guess it's very bright, so we might want to dim the color and stuff like that. But we'll deal with that in a little bit at a, at a little later time. And of course, you know, just show you guys the basics. You can always go in there and make it your own. So let's jump back into KLWP. <laughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> jump back into KLWP. Let's go ahead and actually make the size a little smaller. Maybe down to about 70. You could go six, maybe 60. Let's see. It is pretty small and then the color of it is kind of faded so we're going to make it a little bit transparent and let's see how good it comes out that's not bad that's not too bad we're going to go ahead and save that we're going to go ahead and save that let's go back and take a look there we go it's kind of faded now of course touching it does nothing you can't swipe it or anything like that so what what i initially had now okay let's let's go in again i'm not just going to talk it i'm going to show you guys what i'm talking about so what we can do for this button is put on touch okay now touch we're going to go into uh, type and then it's on single <clears throat> now there's nothing for um hmm. okay 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 hold on hold on maybe it's not touch maybe it's not touch maybe it's animation animation and if i add an animation it will react on it should be react on touch okay so not that so we're probably just gonna have to go with touch again we're just trying our best to uh, mimic the pixel launcher here let's see and let's get rid of that so not animation let's go back to touch let's add let's add we're gonna go to launch app okay now the app I'm going to recommend is an app drawer app it's called app swap I did do a video on focus focus there we go I did do a video on app swap um, it's somewhere down there I'm not sure how far down the line it is but basically just like the uh, swipe up on the actual pixel launcher this app drawer swi slides up so if you go ahead and tap it it's going to go ahead and slide up okay now there's a few components let's go back into the original pixel launcher and you don't have to slide it up okay you can just simply tap on it and it also comes up all right so let's go ahead and tap on it and see what we got here all right let's tap on it i think i missed both of them tap on it okay so you see they both swipe up okay and uh this is obviously using the <coughs> uh, uh, uh the theme uh for the uh, uh touchways theme and uh also just some regular icons okay now on this this is again app swap like i mentioned so you can tap it and it slides up the launcher the app the app drawer and it does look awesome and then also now i'm using the gux icon pack or gooks or goo i don't know how goose goosh i don't know how you're going to pronounce it it is g-u-x icon pack okay it's based off of of course the uh, grace ux okay which is note 7 note 5 icon pack type daily um it's pretty awesome it's very clean the icons are amazing so you know trying to get that real awesome look you know I, i'm just kind of so i'm kind of mixing the pixel launcher with note 7 especially with the wallpapers etc etc so it, it's really cool app swap i think is the best app drawer for the uh occasion all right so now we have that and uh, we want some apps. You can actually put that up. Okay, so let's let's go ahead, dive right back in. This video might be a little bit longer than I had hoped, <laughs> but uh, let's let's continue. All right, so that's round touch there. Let's back out uh, position. I'm going to go ahead and raise this up a little bit. Okay, let's save again. I always save. 
So, well, what happened there? The wallpaper just kind of shifted. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so the wallpaper shifted. Not sure why. <coughs> um, let me check uh, pages. Just one, one. Okay. So, let's see if we can get that Google icon up in there. Um, hmm. Might be a little tricky. If you were to download a an icon pack, okay, I'm gonna work with the icon pack that I have, but I'm sure you can get an icon pack with the Google sign that looks exactly the same thing. I'm gonna show you what I mean. So let's back up. Let's go ahead and hit the addition sign again, the plus sign. Uh, I just hit shape, that's the wrong thing. Let's get rid of that. Let's hit the plus sign, and we're gonna go for image, okay? Now hopefully, hopefully, I'm able to select this image. So we're gonna go ahead into image. <coughs> and then we're going to pick image. Hopefully I'll be able to see the Gux icon pack. Hopefully it's there. Okay, good, it's there. Gux icons. Hopefully I can select the icon pack. Because some of them don't work. And boom. Okay, we're lucky. So Gux icon pack shows up. Now all we have to do is find an icon with the Google G. There's one right there, and it's actually white, so that might work. It does have a little shadow on the outside there. Um, let's see what else. If we can actually find one that has that, that Google colorful, rainbowish color looking. You know, let's go to Google, obviously, and let's see what we can find here. Here's one right here. It's actually the exact same Google uh, thing right there. And then let's jump to position. Let's move it over. Let's move it down. Okay, so we might be able to fine tune this a little bit. Let's see here. Let's actually, let's get off of it and see where it lands. Not, not too bad. I'm going to, let me just move it a little bit. See how much we can get there. Okay. <coughs> Again, if you find a better icon, there's a lot of icon packs. Um, I think Naxos Taz, that's an actual good. It doesn't have the background, but it has the exact same G, so you wouldn't have to deal with that background. Um, let's see, let's take a look. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad. Let's get close so you guys can see. Um, I personally think it doesn't look too bad. You can see the, out, the, uh, the outline around it, but I think it doesn't look that bad. I think it looks pretty good. So we're almost there again. We have the date. We have the status bar is hidden. It's no, it's um, Nova Launcher. So I can actually go ahead and just show the status bar. I'll go to look and feel. Uh, we'll go to show notification bar. Okay, so now it will look a little bit more like the actual thing. And then you can bring it down. So you see it's very close to the top. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and hide it because I prefer widgets, dates, time, that sort of stuff closer to the top and you know what I should probably leave it because then you would have to add in a time okay and I mean you can do something simple like add in the time here add it over there okay just got an idea <laughs> just got an idea uh, and I'm going to do it this is what it actually should look like uh, minor the you know except the little small details etc etc that don't 100% mesh all right, so we got that, I'm gonna hit the save again. So we can just simply add a little time underneath that. But let's get back to the Google and the Google uh, uh, button right there. We're on it right now, we're gonna go to touch because remember once touching the button, it does launch Google search. So we can actually have it go straight to Google now, Google search, you can have it go to Chrome. That's the best thing when creating your own home screen, especially with applications such as Zooper, UCCW, KLWP, et cetera, et cetera. You don't have to, you know, because basically with the actual launcher, it only goes to Google, okay? Only. Suppose you didn't want it to go to Google. Maybe you want it to go to your camera. Maybe you want it to go to uh, 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 Flipboard. Maybe you want it to go to a news site, something like that. With this, you get to make it go to anything you want. But for the sake of the launcher, I'm going to go ahead and let it launch an app. And then it's going to launch the Google search. Okay, uh, where is the Google? So there's Google. Now, is there a Google search? Voice search. Okay, let's just. So, Google, same thing. It's not Google now. Actually, is it Google now? Hmm, let's see. I just saved it. Let's see what happens when I hold the home button. Okay, so it does that. Let's put Google same way. Um, yeah, because this isn't on Marshmallow, this is Lollipop. So now we've saved that. So now. Tapping on the Google sign is going to bring up Google, and it looks like I didn't sign in. Excuse me one moment. <laughs> one second, guys. Let me just sign in here. 
Uh, I swear I did this already, but apparently I did not. Um, da -da 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 -da. Okay, so now, sorry about that guys. So now when tapping on it, it's gonna go ahead and launch Google. Very awesome. So guys, literally, if you guys notice, this is not hard at all. The easy part now, or what you can do, since it is Nova Launcher, you could do something very simple and uh, you could actually just put uh, applications on or you can continue to use KLWP like the phone. I can go ahead and install shortcut. So I can open up this launcher and I can simply go like that. One, um, two, let's go three, and let's go four, okay? So this is how the folders look right now. They look like that, okay? Right there, okay? And I'm gonna mimic my home screen on my S6. Let's put one there, let's go again. And again, like I said, my icons are very small. I like the minimalisticness of, uh, you know, of the whole thing. So I just keep them like that. Actually, let's just keep three. So this is what the folder style looks like uh, on our homemade pixel launcher and as you can see here. Okay, now this, obviously, this is the original, this isn't, um, because I also have theme on this, and of course the Grand Prime doesn't have uh, TouchWiz or Samsung theme support on it. So that's what it looks like with the folder screen. This is where we are. So, to get the folder on, to get the Pixel Launcher folder on your device, and see the great thing about this, it goes on any Android device, any, even the ones that aren't supported for the original Pixel Launcher. So we're gonna go ahead, hold on the screen, for using Nova Launcher, okay? And I'm not sure of any other launcher that can actually do this, but there might be, okay? So uh, all I know is for Nova Launcher right now, look and feel, not, not look and feel, sorry about that. We're gonna go into folders, okay? The grid, it doesn't matter, grid can, is, does the grid matter actually? Let's see, if I put fan, let me put fan first, okay? You know what, let's go to grid, let's go to grid. Then folder background, we're gonna go ahead and select N preview, okay? And, Look at that, we have the end preview right there. Now what I'm actually gonna do, because it's very small, let me just quickly tweak it a little bit. Okay guys, there we go. So, this is what we got. <laughs> it took a while, I did have to kind of tweak it a bit to actually get it, but everything is here working, it's awesome. And this is a very easy way, and of course you can change the background and you can add your own personal touches. So we have the date, oh, we are missing one thing that we can add if you don't want to have your status bar. If your status bar is shown, of course, you're going to tweak it so this is a lot lower and the Google button is a lot lower as well. Me personally, I'm probably just going to do something like this where you can just go back to the main. We're going to go ahead and add, we're going to add a text. It's going to automatically comes up as the time. I'm going to go in and rewrite. I'm going to change that so it doesn't show that zero. Take out the seconds unless you want to have the seconds in there. Take that out, take that out, something like that. Boom, blam, blam. I'm going to go ahead and change the font to maybe something like, something a little bit thin and maybe a little transparent. Raise up the size a little bit. Get on that position. And we're gonna do something like, this is what I'm thinking, if you wanted to have the time. And uh, it might be something that they might do is put some time on there. I'm gonna bring this down to about, let's say a 50. Let's go back to the position and tweak it. Let me take a quick look at it. Uh, right about there, 290 looks good. Okay, we're gonna go like that. Make sure it's all nice and safe. And boom, bam, bam, okay? If you don't like the time over there, you can always put it over on this side. It's, it's very awesome, guys. Let's go ahead and do a comparison with the original and the one we have created. Of course, do not watch the theme or the icons and stuff like that. But I mean, taking a look at it, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Of course, there are no labels. I didn't put any labels on it. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty straightforward, okay? So like, if your device, like my Grand Prime here, can't get the Pixel Launcher, Okay, the S6 can, there it is. This is the official Pixel Launcher. You can slide up. You have the Google support there. And you have the new folders. You have that dock. You have the time and stuff over there. Guys, same thing on the left. With more customization options, okay? So if you can't get the 100% original stock launcher, you don't have to worry. There's always a way to remake it. So look at that. We have Google there. 
okay, we have Google. We have the new folder styles, courtesy of Nova Launcher. We have the app drawer, okay. But again, with customization, you can change the icons. Over here on the S6, you cannot change the icons because that's just how it is. If you have a Sam, if you have a, a, a TouchWiz theme, then that's the only way you can change it. And sometimes it's not all the icons, like how you see here. These icons didn't change, only a few of the default applications changed. Okay, we have our apps down here at the bottom. Okay, and you can do this KLWP, but just like I did with Nova Launcher, I just changed the grid size, changed the icon size, and went ahead and put some applications in there. Okay, but everything works as you see here. It's it's awesome. Okay, so man, whoo, what a little journey. Like I said, it did go a lot, uh, uh, or it did take a lot longer than what I wanted or what I was hoping for or going for in the beginning, but we are here, guys, okay? So, original, do it yourself, okay? Again, you can have more fun with this because you're definitely able, of course you can change the wallpaper on any device, but you're able to put in your own icons, you're able to change up your own time, you're able to do anything. So this is the actual way to get Pixel Launcher on any Android device, because there are some that can't get it. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up. You guys are here. You guys see how much work I put into these things. I do this to share with you guys to make sure that you guys can get everything that's available, especially if you can't get it on whatever particular device you have. Okay, I'm your humble host, Picasso. Once again, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed already and you love this content, go ahead and subscribe, guys. I'll see you soon with another video. Peace. This is a, a Galaxy Note 7 lock screen. Okay, free in the Google Play Store. It's not the greatest. It does have a little thing where the alarm actually overlaps the uh, the alarm icon there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but just like that. It does have notification support. I don't like how the notification support looks, so I got rid of that. And um, basically what I'm showing you guys is what I did with the rest of it. So this is what I did with the uh, do-it-yourself. Uh, 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 pixel launcher not pixel launcher the one that we created <laughs> um, so this is how I'm gonna rock it until I get another idea and then probably change it it's probably gonna be changed in like the next three four hours or something when I get another idea so again leave a thumbs up leave a thumbs up there it is leave a thumb there it is peace